Hello people, I hope you're all doing well out there in YouTube land. Uh, this is a public information video uh, regarding uh, glyphosate, a substance that's used in uh, pesticides, weed killers. Uh, something that's become highlighted to myself this year due to walking the paths around Kimber. And some of them have been poisoned. So uh, a little bit of investigation by myself with the council, uh, I found out the particular pesticide that they use, which is called Gallup 360, and the active ingredient, which is concentrated glyphosate, which I'm gonna leave a few links in the description to uh, studies that have been carried out on glyphosate. Um, a lot of them have been heavily one-sided due to a company called Monsanto, uh, which uh, is the largest producer of glyphosate weed killers, uh, paying six-figure sums to the laboratories for one-sided reports. So I hope at the end of this video you get um, a better idea and a better understanding of what's happening in our environment, and uh, I hope it makes you more aware. Yeah, so having found this information out, I will be going back to the council and basically asking them exactly where and when they've been spraying this Gallup 360 around the paths around Kimber. And I will be avoiding these particular paths. I was wondering if that was the council, or I could go and speak to them now. But uh, I'll speak to them in due course. Yes, I'll be avoiding these paths like the plague and I hope to educate yourselves so you can avoid these areas as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, basically, uh, thanks for uh, putting the signs up the public footpath. You oh, made right. it a lot more clearer. But I've a concern with another public footpath. Right. Which one? Um, you go out of the Con Club car park, and yeah. um, you, you go, go up the you go up the steps, yeah. and there's a three-way turning. Yeah. Left um, right. Open the gate, and you can go straight up to yeah. the to the church. Well. For a number of years now, uh, the chap that owns the house uh, to the right of it has been dumping his garden rubbish um, just to the left of the path. Yeah. Well, I went up there this morning and I was that horrified, I didn't even bother walking up there. Um, not only has he been dumping garden rubbish, he's, he's sprayed what appears to be like a, a gly glyphosate sort of weed killer, like a roundup type weed killer, um, all over the, um, the, the grass part of the path. Uh, all the grass has turned yellow, all the plants around there have died um, and where they've been splatted with this poison all the leaves have turned brown. Right. I just think it's horrific because... That's alongside the actual footpath? Right that's actually way. on the footpath. I mean because I was thinking with my dogs because it's, it's, it's a known cancer causing uh, carcinogenic uh, and uh, one of my other questions was going to be um, does Kimber Parish Council use like a roundup type a pesticide and if you do uh, w I'd like to sort of know where you use it so I can sort of avoid those areas right. if at all possible. Okay, can I get back to you on that? Yeah. Yeah it is 89, sorry. Here's the high street, you go yeah. up the acre. That's it, yeah, yeah. 89. You yeah. go left, you go right or straight up, it's footpath 89. Yeah. Um, he's also... Are you concerned um, about this, what you suspect is probably like poison, like like roundup type stuff. Yeah. Um, alongside the path. No. It just looks absolutely awful. Anybody coming into the village who walks that public footpath, the, the first thing they're going to do is go up those steps, open that gate, and just see a pile of garden waste mm. and all dead grass. 
and before there used, used to be wild bluebells, uh, snowdrops and things that were growing there, it's beautiful and for some reason this guy f deems it appropriate to dump all his garden waste it onto there. It's land apparently, yeah, well, he owns all the, although the right of way goes through, it's despicable, I mean what's he going to yeah. do, start putting his, his, his kitchen landfill in there as well, you know, yeah, that would probably be, uh, be icing on the cake, yeah, then it'd end up looking like a you know, looking like a landfill site, or look at how gibbet wood will look like in the future, I suppose. Okay. But, um, um, I'll raise this with the talk when um, okay. in the what office. Shall I come back? And, um, um, uh, can you come back probably Monday or Tuesday, is that alright? Yeah, sure. The clock's off for a couple of days. I certainly don't think we would have been using uh, it. Which is like a ra there, round up. Our ground is... Um, Stanford Gardens, Jubilee Gardens, and mm. then... The I, I think it's... Okay. Cheers, Ben. Thank you. But did you find out any information? Yes, sir. I'm sure Jenny has. She's just on the phone at the moment. Right, the stuff we use and the contractor does our grass is Gallup 360. That is the product and that's licensed to the UK. It's not the same as the American stuff. It's much... Uh, does it have uh, uh, globe phosphate? Is it globe, globe phosphate? They might have named it as a different name, but a lot of these companies they sort of. There are a lot of stricter restrictions on licensing now in America as to what you're allowed to use. Yeah. Around as far stronger than that. Yeah. Try and use Roundup. Yeah, it's like a Monsanto. Yeah. You're best off using like um, vinegar, Epsom salt, boiling water. Works a heck of a lot better. And uh, doesn't have all the negative impact on the uh, pollinators or the bees. And, uh, well, I know that's the Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen videos well. of like the, this 